what's up guys this is the game hunter i know that we saw rise of civilizations and today let's keep rocking with lohar's trial lohar is a barbarian commander which you can only unlock during this event it's, uh, it's quite simple uh, some people really fell in love with lohar thinking that he's the best pve commander in the game uh, that was, we're gonna, what we're we gonna do we're gonna talk about the event i'm gonna show you how to maximize the sculptures and also uh, let's talk about lohar for a little bit okay so let's get into this right now so what do you have to do it's super super simple the only thing you have to do is to attack barbarians every time that you attack barbarians you're gonna receive bone necklace with those bone necklace you can uh, redeem those bone necklace and see if you can get rewards they could be resources they could be accelerators or they could be special uh, lohars that you can then attack okay that uh, I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds, so it's gonna be super simple. So the, this is the whole idea about this uh, event. If you are lucky enough to receive one of those Lohars in those necklaces, you're gonna be able to summon this guy, and then you can attack those uh, Lohars with your alliance. Yeah? And after attacking, the rewards, the rewards are the important part, because after attacking that Lohar, you can get either resources or you can get sculptures for Lohar. And that is the cool part, if you can get the sculpture, well, you're all set because you're going to be able to unlock this amazing Barbarian Commander, which is, it, was, it is pretty good. Alright, so we got, uh, let's see, let's start with the um, attacking somebody here. First of all, I think that with the latest patch, all of a sudden, uh, it's like my, my, my menu disappears all the time. I don't know why, it's just kind of strange. Okay, let's go again this Barbarian level 15. Uh, Actually, we should go with Lohar. We're just gonna go with the uh, Charles Martel and Boudica. We're gonna do a special episode comparing Lohar and Boudica, which are two of the, uh, of the barbarian specialist commanders that people like. The reason people love Lohar, and I understand why, is because Lohar gives you extra XP, and that XP is going for Lohar and also for the secondary commander or the primary commander, depending on which position you use Lohar, which is great. You, it is great. I mean, the amount of XP that you can get extra is, for example, it's 70, I think it's 70% the maximum that you can get extra XP. That's a lot. That, it's going to help you big time to unlock, I mean, to level up some other commanders. But on the other hand, is uh, you, you're going to keep using Lohar, another commander you're probably never going to use in PvP, and spending time attacking barbarians, or spending action points, and, and then you need to decide if it's worth it. Should I send two commanders and receive less XP, or should I send Lohar and another commander and get tons of XP? That's up to you, depending on how much time you have. All right, so after finishing this attack, we're gonna receive an email. We're gonna receive that, that's the battle, blah, blah, blah. And in the system, look at that, you receive a bone necklace. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of these, so we're gonna claim all of them at the same time, we receive 26, okay? And now if you go to the items, doo -doo -doo -doo, you're gonna see, First of all, all these Lohars are the ones that I'm being able to unlock and then I can summon those letters so I can attack them with my alliance and get sculpture for me and also for them. Okay, that's that's the whole idea, is to be able to share, share with your teammates, share with the alliance so they all can get this amazing sculpture. So, we got 154. I'm not gonna unlock every single one. Just gonna unlock like a 50. No, I'm gonna unlock 50. The reason I'm not unlocking all the sculptures is because I mean all the bone necklace is because I'm also recording videos in Spanish. So if you speak Spanish and you wanna also see videos of rice civilizations, go to my Spanish channel, my channel in Spanish, so you can also watch these amazing videos of this amazing game. Amazing game, good videos. All right, <laughs> let's call it that. And also, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and leave activate notifications. That's gonna gonna cost you a thing. And that way, I'm gonna know that you guys are enjoying this amazing content. All right, so we got 50. I'm gonna use this, and all of a sudden, look at that. We received arrows of resistance, which is great. We can start unlocking the watchtower. We received speed ups training. We got tons of rewards in terms of uh, uh, resources 10,000 for 69 times. That's a lot. We got some gems. We got seven Lohars Lombos. Seven Loha Bundle. Also, we got some speed up for building. We got good, also another speed up, just a regular one. And also, we received some food. So, as you can see, the rewards are quite great. And there is, a, there is two different Lohars. I don't know if I got the other one. Mm. This is the Lombo, but there is another one. The other, ah, the other one is the Junior. 
a junior, yeah, some of the loan leader, junior. No, there is another. There, there is two different lohars. One is more difficult to the other, but I believe the ones that I have is just the regular one, the junior's lohar. And the idea is to use one of these. For example, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you this, right? We got a lohar. Lohar is gonna spawn close to your base, and then you can attack. But the only thing that you can do is to attack as a rally with your teammates. So that's why I'm not gonna do it now because we are in the middle of a war. And uh, the thing is that once that you can get a rally together with your teammate, you can go attack Lohar and also get those amazing rewards. We're just gonna leave Lohar right there. I'm not gonna attack you for now because I know my teammates are busy, but let's go and take a look to Lohar, the commander that you can get. Lohar is an um, epic commander. Quite okay. Let's just double check the skills. The overwhelming force active skill deals direct damage to a single target. Damage factor 250 and heals the portion of the army slightly wounded unit. Healing factor 250. Not too bad. 250 because it's level 3 at this point. But you start from 150 up to 450. So it's, it's not too bad. You can heal some troops. I like it. But I prefer to have, for example, John of Arc, for example. So that's why I don't, I don't really want to spend many tons of knowledge in a commander like this. This is uh, the cool one. One of the cool uh, attributes or cool skills for Lohar is the sanction. Increased damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units by 17% because currently it's level 3. It's from 5% to 35%. So it becomes Lohar very, very good commander to attack forts, um, sanctuarians, and also barbarians. So. It, it's something to consider, but this one is the most cool, cool, cool skill for Lohar. Lohar's Trial increases XP received by all commanders in the current army by, in this case, 50%. 50% from 10% to 70% are the XP that you can get, and that is an amazing reward. And that's why Lohar is so, so valuable to upgrade commanders. In my opinion, I was using it. I was using it especially during the... I try to remember the name of the event. Mm, I try to remember. There was a special event that it was giving us extra XP for attacking barbarians. I don't remember right now. I don't have it in the top of my head. But the, the good thing is that using Lohar and, and another commander helped me big time to upgrade so many commanders. It was just crazy ridiculous. So that is up to you. I mean, in my opinion, it's good. But if you don't have enough time or, or a lot of time to play Rise of Civilization, you might probably think twice. Maybe you can use another commander like Boudica instead of Lohar. Boudica doesn't give you like a lot of XP, but it's definitely going to help you with extra damage to barbarians. Um, so that is the big, big, big concern. What should you use? In my opinion, Boudica is better, but Lohar is definitely an XP machine. It's going to help you big time to level up. Lohar and also some other commanders and also in the talents. If I'm not wrong, there is another one of the talents in here is uh, talking about increasing the XP. Mm, okay, look at that. Quick study increases experience obtained by defeating barbarians and other neutral units by 15%. So if you use Lohar as a primary commander, it's crazy bananas. We got 50%, but 15 at this moment is 65% extra that we're gonna receive from barbarians. Crazy. Yes, crazy ridiculous. So, but do me a favor and let me know in the commentary section which one is your favorite barbarian commander. We also have Minamoto, we also have uh, Kao Kao, it's also good. Uh, Boudica, but Boudica and Loha are the two primary ones. So, let me know which one you are using. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter with another episode Rise of Civilization. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Oh.